getting set for first pitch at Petco Park. The Dodgers meet the Padres next on the show. A look at Petco Park here on a fine Friday night. Tonight we continue the road trip with the first of three between the Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. To quote the best in the business, it's time for Dodger baseball. Hi, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons as we delve into our pitching matchup here in the opener. Yeah, and this one should be a pretty interesting matchup. Now, keep in mind that the ball doesn't carry here nearly as well at night as it does in the daytime. So some of those home runs that you were hitting in batting practice are going to be warning track outs during the ballgame. All right, Steve, EK will join us in a moment, but before he does, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Los Angeles Dodgers. As the skipper Don Mattingly will line his guys up this way. And there you see the starting pitcher they'll match up against as you look at his numbers on the right side of your screen. Defensively, the pod range alignment will look like this. Scott Van Slyke will move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. Scott Van Slyke. First of three here on a Friday night as the first pitch is in there for strike one. EK are home nine as they start play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove winning three of their last four games. Yeah, and you look back to that last game, you'll take production like that anytime you can get it. It makes a starter's life easier. Heck, it makes your whole staff breathe easier. That's toward the right field gap. And look at this. He's got extra bases right off the bat. Around first on his way to second now. And he will make it there with their first hit of the ball game, a leadoff double. Oh, it's just so important for a visiting ball club to come out swinging in the first inning. you got to do what you can do to get on the board first. And he gives them a good shot at that right here as he kicks off the night with a leadoff double. Justin Turner will take his first swings here. And as you can see, not a lot going right for him offensively here in this first month of the year. Now the first pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And you know, all you have to do is point back to yesterday's ball game. This was part of their downfall, hitting with runners in scoring position. They just couldn't sustain any kind of offense. So this would be a big boost if he could turn the tide a little bit here and come through big. He's ready now, the pitch. And this might advance the runner as it's on the ground a second. And the catch is made one away. You know what? It's never too early in a ball game to play smart, fundamental baseball. You've got the leadoff man at second, so he's just shooting for the right side of the infield. And he's able to move him up 90 feet to third with just one away. And now is Yasiel Puig, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Enters play here at 279. One home run and eight runs batted in. Pause. Now the pitch. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Kemp has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. 
That just didn't get enough of that one to get that run home. So that's probably a wise decision to hold it third. Here's Adrian Gonzalez now in his former ballpark. If you're wondering about the most home runs in franchise history, Adrian finished his days in San Diego with 161, second only to Nate Colbert on the all-time list. Here's the first offering. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And this is maybe not a pitch-around situation, but you need to be real careful with a guy like this in two away. Now Gonzalez awaits the 1-0. Oh. And Adrian turns on one here, but this is going to find the seats foul down the right side. The 1-1. One, one. And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. Myers is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Dodgers leave one. Dodgers scoreless. Padres coming to bat. It's the battle for Southern California bragging rights, and it's on the show. Here's Bud Black's starting lineup for the host Padres, and it looks like this. Get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number's right there on the right side of your screen. Behind him defensively, the Dodgers will line up like this. Yonder Alonso will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. low 1 and 0. Oh. Eric, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight here in the bottom of the 1st. It was another loss last time out and this portion of the schedule has not done them any favors as they've dropped 5 of their last 7. And I think it's just going to be a matter of putting yesterday behind you. It wasn't their finest performance of the year, that's for sure, but they're capable of playing much better yeah. ball and I think we'll see a sharper focus here on this one. And Rollins will throw him out one away. Adding second. Ramiro Pena will come forward now. Back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. First pitch coming. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Now here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Ready now on one and one. Uh, swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Yeah, and that's not always an easy play for a pitcher, especially when he has to barehand the ball. But luckily, he's got plenty of time out there, so he's able to set himself and then make a good, strong throw. Matt Kemp will stand in now, and obviously one to be careful with, as you see there, currently leading the senior circuit in long balls. First offering on the way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. This is a guy who generally stays around the strike zone. He's not going to walk a whole lot of guys, so you're going to get some pitches to hit. Now here's the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one.
Kershaw now on one and one. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Puig is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Padres down in order. We played an inning. No score. Andre Ethier will stride in. He did his part yesterday afternoon as he came through with three hits in the losing effort. Now here's the first pitch. And a good fastball from Kennedy as he gets ahead with strike one. Well, a very hittable pitch, too. That's a middle-of-the-plate fastball, and he's not going to get away with too many of those tonight. Now the pitch. Now the 0-1 is swung on and grounded the other way to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. And, you know, pitching's a lot more than just velocity. This guy, he's living proof. If you hit your spots, change speeds, you can get guys out with an 87, 88-mile-an-hour fastball, and he did it right there. Howie Kendrick will stride forward now, looking to keep that hit streak alive. Currently at six games entering play. Now the first pitch. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And Kemp's going to need to play this off the wall now. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Well, I think this was a little bit of a gamble from my perspective. I had a feeling that he'd take a big turn around first and then hold on. But he was having none of that. He's smelling two all the way, and he's going to make it there with a hustle double. In now is J.J. Ellis. Swinging a ball, hit on the ground. Throw gets him, two down. Batting in, shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. So the shortstop, Jimmy Rollins, will get his first shot here, trying to come through with two away and a runner at third. First pitch coming. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And a base hit as the run will come in to score from third. And it's now a 1-0 lead for the Dodgers. Yeah, that's a good job right there with two away to pick up the first run of the ball game from third base. Very important to cash in when you're given the early opportunities. And he comes through big time right there. Into the box, Clayton Kershaw, as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to shore. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. It's a run on two hits here for L.A. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. L.A.'s on top, one to nothing. Justin Upton will stand in, and he's been a tough out these past couple of weeks, as you see the average there over the course of the last nine ball games. Pitch on the way. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Yeah, those are the ones you like to start in that bat, especially your first time up. I agree. Give me a nice easy one in the dirt that I can take so I can really get ahead in that count early. There's a fastball for a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. Now the one and one pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the one-two pitch from Kershaw to two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so 
That's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. Now Kershaw delivers a 2-2. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's 3-2. and two. Set to follow. There you see young Will Myers. He'll be next. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. As we look at that again, you know, this is not a bad pitch by any stretch. If he throws this pitch ten times, I bet he gets him out nine of them. But here you just have to tip your cap to the guy at the plate. Will Myers will stand in now as he was reinserted back into the lineup here after taking a needed day off yesterday. High set by Kershaw, now the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Upton the runner at first, nobody out. Here's the 1-0. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. 2-0 count, the pitch. Now a hard liner towards short. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Oh, they came right back at him with another heater right there. He wasn't surprised at all. He might have been sitting on that pitch, but he hit it right on the button. It just wound up being right at somebody. Here's Jed Jerko now. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. He'll enter play with an average of 311. One home run and six RBIs. He's set. Now the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Yeah, he's not really getting on top of that curveball right now. That's going to get him into trouble if he keeps leaving it up there like that. Here's the one one. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And with that, that'll push his hit streak to a modest six games. Clinton Barmas will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. Now here's the first pitch, and here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. Pretty cool right there. You know, it's so important in a tough spot to get that first pitch strike over, and he's able to jump ahead. From the belt, the pitch. Outside at 94, one ball and one strike. Dodgers have the early 1-0 advantage as we play the second. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Slider is in there, and now it's 1-2. One, one of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Kendrick. Over to Gonzalez, and they get the double play they needed to get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Scott Van Slyke, ready to go here as we begin the third. The number 33, Scott Van Slyke. Let's go, First pitch to him. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Upton is underneath this one. One pitch, one away. A reminder that Dodger baseball continues all season long here on the show. There you get a look at what's coming up over the course of the next seven days. Justin Turner will stand in. 
He grounded out his first time. And here's the first pitch. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Here it comes. That's Whoa. over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. Here comes a 1-2. And he's able to go with a fastball as this is sliced into right for a base hit. Well, he's been a little slow out of the blocks here to start the season, but that looks a little better there as this is a sharp base hit. Yasiel Puig will stand in here, the National League's starter out in right field in last year's All-Star game. Here's the first pitch to him. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat, nothing in one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Let's watch this swing and show motion. You're going to see this pitch just tie him up in knots, but somehow he's able to fist it all the way out to right field. Here's Adrian now. Uh, couldn't quite oh. hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. First and second now, one man out. He's set, now the pitch. Here's a ground ball to first. Varmus. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. So no runs here on two base hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Dodgers one, and the Padres nothing. Derek Norris will stand in. He's got that average pushing up near 300 to start the new season. Here's the first offering. Back to work now as Kershaw as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man. Nothing in one. Cool. That's a thing of beauty right there. Now the pitch. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Man reaching base here. Let's take a moment to check out this date in baseball history. First pitch on the way. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Well, this is a nice job here of giving himself up. You see him square and put this ball down over toward the right side of the infield. And that's just where you want it to be. They do put the tag on him, but hey, he gets the job done. Here's Yonder Alonso as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Well, that one's at 94, so the velocity's good right now. Come set, now the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw not in time to get him, and how about that? An unlikely infield single. 
much easier to do in retrospect, but you almost wonder if he would have been better served to let this ball go and see if it would have gone foul. There's no guarantees it would have, but that was always going to be a tough play anyway. Stepping in now, Ramiro Pena fouled straight back. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Well, that could have been the turning point right there. I mean, this is a spot where you at least got to put that ball in play. Now with two outs, that rally could go right down the tubes. Matt Kemp will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. First pitch coming. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. The next pitch. And 2-0 now as this misses below the knees. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. 3 and 0 oh now. Well, I think he got the pitch he was looking for right there, but not in the right location. So that's a great job of just holding up the swing. Now the 3-0 pitch. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Well, we knew he had to work carefully with the runner in scoring position, but I don't think a walk was what he had in mind. That's going to make things just a little trickier now with the bases loaded. Justin Upton to get a chance here in one of the bigger spots in the ball game thus far. Bases loaded now with two away. Here's the first offering. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. And that's what he needed here with two outs. He couldn't afford to fall behind another guy here in the inning, so that's a good job to jump in that driver's seat with strike one. He waits, now the pitch. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. And with the bases loaded, why not take one for the team right there and let that pitch hit you? It could have been a run. So 1-1 one, one home. Grounded, fouled off to the right. The one-two. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Here's another one-two. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Bases are loaded here, two down. A big pitch here, one and two. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Now another one-two. Line hard into left. Vince Light is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. More baseball from downtown San Diego right after this. Andre Ethier will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Center fielder number 16, Andre Ethier. First pitch coming. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. Some would say he's showing good patience here, waiting for his pitch. But as a number five hitter, I think you need to make something happen. And the pitch. And a bouncing ball foul. Ready with another 0-2. 0-2 oh, pitch swung on and hit in the air after straightaway left. 
He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And both of these guys will get it up to over 90, as you can see, 94 for one, 91 for the other. One gone now in the Dodger fourth. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. First offering on the way. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and it looks like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. I'll tell you what, it's tough to try and outthink this guy out there. Seems like whatever pitch he throws, you're stuck looking for something else. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. And this will be taken in out there just a few steps in front of the track, and there are two away now. Yeah, once the sun goes down here, this place plays like a much different ballpark. Case in point right there. That ball had no carry whatsoever. A.J. Ellis will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now the first pitch. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. Two flyouts here to start the inning. It's a little different pitching in this place. You got to figure the more fly balls he gets here, the better. Yeah, usually it's the other way around. You want to make guys hit it on the ground, and you still do, but there's no question that fly balls get swallowed up. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Dodgers down in order, but they hold a 1 0 lead. Will Myers will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now here's the first pitch. And that misses ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And Rollins will throw him out, one away. And these two teams right back at it tomorrow night. We'll have coverage of game two of the series in high definition on the show as you get a look there at the two starters scheduled to oppose one another. Jet Jerko will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Now the first pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the pitch. And here's a swing, and another chance out there is short. Up with it is Rollins. Throw to first, he'll get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. Now the shortstop. Clint Barmas will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. First pitch coming. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. Puig is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Three up, three down for San Diego. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Jimmy Rollins will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Jimmy Rollins. First pitch to him. Now the first pitch of the inning is a fly ball out to straightaway left. Upton is in his tracks now, and very quickly one gone. 
Well, any time you can retire this guy, that's good. Any time you can do it leading off an inning, that's great. And any time you can do it on one pitch, that's a full trifecta right there. Clayton Kershaw will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ball game. And here's the first pitch. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. Yeah, it's not like he needed any help. He's pitching well enough as it is, but this is now two pitches and two outs here in the inning. And he's growing more and more confident with every passing batter. Scott Van Slyke will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. The 1-0. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And the Dodgers move in front now two to nothing. After the first two hitters, this inning didn't look like it was going anywhere. But you talk to a lot of hitters, and they'll tell you if they come up with two outs and nobody on, that's where they get selfish and try to swing for the fences. And that's what he did right there and launched a solo shot with two outs. How about it? Into the box now, Justin Turner. Justin Turner. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. The pitch. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. One for the Dodgers on the solo home run. Middle of the night downtown. It's now 2 nothing L.A. Derek Norris will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Here's the first offering. Ball one. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed inning, so he should be fine for the time being. The 1-0. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 now. Here's the 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. And it goes without saying, but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Here it comes, 3-0. Here's a ball popped up. Playable, however, in foul ground for Ellis behind the plate. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. Look, this should have been a leadoff walk, but for whatever reason, he decides to let it fly on 3-0. And 
instead of looking at ball four, winds up as an easy out. Ian Kennedy will dig in. No official at bat yet as he delivered a sacrifice bunt in his first appearance. First pitch on the way. And this is going to be a foul ball. No runs, four hits. No errors in the ball game for the Padres. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one-out single. First baseman, number 23, Yonder Alonso. Yonder Alonso will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Now here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. He's ready now. The pitch, well struck but foul over by the coaching box. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. And this is fouled back and out of play. Runners on first with one down. Now another 0-2. Another swing and another foul ball as he's in a hole now. No balls and two strikes. Here comes another 0-2. Chopper foul. The 0-2 once more. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Another 0-2 coming. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. The next 0-2. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And now this will be the 10th pitch of the at-bat. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. There to make the play is Puig for route number two. Yeah, that was a really good battle right there. It took him a lot of pitches to finally get the fly ball out. Now, obviously, you're not going to get on base, but I wouldn't consider that a wasted at bat at all. Ramiro Pena will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. In there, 0 and 1. That's one of his best pitches tonight. Two out with the man at first. Comes set, now the pitch. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Kershaw now on one and one. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But a foul ball, one and two now. Here's the one, two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Again, a one-two. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Padres lead one. They trail things here two to nothing. Yasiel Puig will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. And with Adrian Gonzalez just around the corner, we'll see a lefty getting loose in the bullpen now. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Pitch on the way. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. 
throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for route number one. Well, he is definitely doing his part out there. You see his line so far. He's keeping his guys in the ball game. He's just not getting any help offensively. Adrian Gonzalez will dig in. He's flown out and hit into a double play in two trips. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ah, well done as he takes this the other way and laces it into left field. A base hit. Okay. And he continues to hit the ball well as that'll push his hitting streak up to seven games now. Andre Ethier will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. First pitch coming. First pitch of the A.B. is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. Under it is Myers and there are two away now. Howie Kendrick will stand in. He's one for two so far. Here's the first offering. Swing and a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Throw on to Barmas for the force and that'll end the inning. One left for L.A. They're up two to nothing. Matt Kemp will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. First pitch coming. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Well... You know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. Here's a 1-0. Here and a strike to even the count. One and one. And this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92-93. Now Kemp awaits the 1-1. Here you go. Slider clocked in the mid-80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Fastball call, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Well, this is one of those situations where his guys got him the lead early on, and he's been in complete control ever since. I mean, he's barely been threatened out there. Justin Upton will dig in now. One for two to this point. First offering on the way. And a fastball is in there for strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. And now a pitch on the way. Dan Upton Whoa. won't chase that one. It's 1-2. And, and even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. Upton awaits the 1-2 inside for a ball so he misses with two straight here and it's back to two and two and that's the right spot for that slider really try hard to tie him up inside and that's a good job to lay off too now Kershaw delivers a 2-2 and he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul another 2-2 offering 
And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat. So we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. The two two one more time. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Wow, what an at bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a three and two count. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away. And it's still folded three and two. And Upton will reach as he looks at ball four. That's an easy take right there on the three two pitch. Not all that inviting at all. I wonder at least make the guy think about hacking up there. Instead now he's on with one away. Will Myers will step in. He's lined out and grounded out in two trips. Time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. First pitch coming. In there at the letters 0 and 1. And you know, whenever he's been in trouble on the mound, he's found a way to turn things around. And that's a good job to start this guy with strike one. High set by Kershaw. Now the pitch. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. Oh, and he misses it. Here comes Upton around third. And they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. <laughs> and that play was just an absolute mess. I mean, if you want to see a manager lose his mind, try letting a guy score from first on an air. And that's an absolute gift of a run there. Jed Jerko now as he'll take a look at ball one. Got to say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far. And he's in a big need of one right here. It would definitely come in handy. 1-0. Two balls, no strikes now, batting with one out and a runner at third. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. A run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here's the two and one pitch. He's falling behind now. Three and one. Well, it looks like he's aiming the baseball now instead of just letting it go. One run, five hits. No errors in the ball game for the Padres. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side. But this is going to find the seats of foul ball. Payoff pitch coming. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. That slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt. As you take a look there, what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Clint Varmus will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Oh, 
And now we see Dodgers manager Don Mattingly out of the dugout and on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So for the time being he stands to be the winning pitcher but he is responsible for the possible tying run over at third. Dustin McGowan will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Dustin McGowan. Clint Barmas will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Now the first pitch. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. From the stretch. And that's swung on and missed. So now Barmas is in an 0-2 hole here. From the belt, the pitch. Foul back. Here's another 0-2. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Back here at Petco Park, the men in blue leading in this one as we get set to begin the seventh. But before we do, let's check out the game summary to this point. A.J. Ellis will try things again. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. A.J. Ellis. Now here's the first pitch. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Now here it comes. That's hard hit back up the middle. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now as this game goes along, you have to wonder whether or not this will be his last inning of work. He's due to bat second when their turn comes around. Jimmy Rollins will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. First pitch to him. And a bouncing ball, foul. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Now the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now here's the pitch. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Yeah, he's lucky this ball doesn't get further away. It's a fastball in the dirt, but luckily he's able to block it and make a strong throw to first. Standing in now, Dustin McGowan. First pitch here is popped a mile high into the air. This is way up there, but playable on the infield. Pena is there, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers, as they're unable to add to their two-to-one lead.
Derek Norris will stand in. He singled and popped out in his first two at-bats. Here's the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. Ethier is in retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. Yeah, it looked like this might be much more off the bat, but this ballpark has really played large tonight. And, you know, we've seen a few balls right now really get knocked down out there. Will Nieves will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Strike one call to the 37-year-old veteran up there. Nothing in one. Come on, bud. Here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Yeah, a couple of mid-90s fastballs, and he hasn't been close on either one of them. Now the pitch. And this is fouled straight back. Ready with another 0-2. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. Here comes another 0-2. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. And sometimes it doesn't quite matter how hard a thrower a guy is. If he can locate, he's going to be successful. The location here is absolutely spot on. Right on the inside corner. That's a tough, tough pitch. Here's Yonder Alonso. Here yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Credit where credit's due. This guy's done a good job out of the bullpen. No question. He's been able to hold that lead, and these guys really haven't threatened him at all. Pitch on the way. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Up with it now is Kendrick. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Padres down in order. They're down 2-1. Kevin Quackenbush will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Scott Van Slyke will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ballgame to this point. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. the pitch and that's a cold strike at the letters though that looked high from here it's 0-2 now tonight borderline calls you got to be swinging now here's the pitch and this is hit hard on the ground at first and he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first down a Denning now downtown with the visiting Dodgers on top of the Padres through seven as you get a look at our line score to this point. Justin Turner 
will get another crack. One for three thus far. Looks like double barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right hander up the throw. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's a base hit. Yeah, and plenty of hits here so far, but not a lot to show for it in the run column. Maybe this can help turn that around as they get a man on here with just one away. Yasiel Puig will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Now the first pitch. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. One zero pitch now. One zero pitches a slider swung on and missed one and one. Now the one one that nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. Now the pitch. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. He might have thought he'd be getting another dose of that curveball because he was way behind them. Here comes a two-two. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Sets the two-two pitch. Swing and a line drive, but that's a foul ball. Here he comes on two and two. And when you know you've got a guy in protect mode up there, and he's fouling off pitches left and right, that's when you know you can just keep taking him further and further away. He winds up getting the punch out here on a pitch that's well out of the zone. Here's Adrian now. He goes the other way as this is hit well out toward deep left field. And this is taken in by Upton, and that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one. They still lead it two to one. Ramiro Pena will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. So this will find the glove of Rollins at short, one gone. Yeah, that would have been nice to get that tying run on base, and this ball's definitely hit hard enough. It's just right at his man. So here's Matt Kemp now. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. That's oh, over, that's but low, it's a ball yeah. and a strike. Here it comes. And a cold strike, too, as he's pounding the knees here. Now the one, two. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. You want to talk about throwing a fastball in a guy's kitchen? Uh, he came in, sat down, had a cup of coffee with him. <laughs> you aren't going to tie a guy up any better than that. Here's Justin Upton now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? 
a lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Now here it comes. Chopper foul. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Now a ball lying towards center field. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Yeah, the tying runs on base now with two outs. And who knows? If this next guy can put one in the gap, we could have ourselves a tie ball game. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Will Myers will stand in. He reached on an error last time through. First pitch on the way. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate on fire. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. He's set, now the pitch. And that'll be grounded foul off to the left and near Glenn Hoffman, the third base coach. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now another 0-2. Down the way, it's a ball and two strikes. A runner on first with two away. Comes set, now the pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. One left for San Diego. Our score remains 2-1. to one. Will Venable will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Will Venable. Andre Ethier will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the night. Center fielder number 16. Andre and before the pitch here, time is asked for and granted by Woody Keller, the home plate umpire. Now here's the first pitch. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Here's the pitch. Now a hard liner towards short. And a leap at short, but it's over his glove, and it could be extra bases. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. Well, these guys know the deal from the offensive standpoint. They've got to add on to give their bullpen just a little more breathing room. And this is a good start as he jumps all over this one and drives it for two bases. Here's Howie Kendrick. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. The relay, and he is in there. So a double and a fly ball move a man to third now with one away. Now if they could just get another fly ball, it would likely net him a run. A.J. Ellis will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. He can make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Here's the first offering. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. And a big RBI there as the run scores to make this a two-run game now. That's a big run in a game like this. That makes it a two-run game now here in the top of the ninth. So now you give your guy a little extra breathing room out there in the bottom half. 
He'll appreciate it, believe me. Jose Valverde will take over now with one away in the top of inning number nine. Jose Valverde. Jimmy Rollins will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. Here's the first offering. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Set now the pitch. And a bouncing ball foul. He's ready. Now the pitch. Foul back. Another 0-2 coming. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Runner at first here, one man out. The next 0-2. Chopper, foul. Here's another 0-2. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that's going to land foul. Runners on first with one down. Another 0-2 home. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time. And there are two away. Yeah, you know, sometimes as a hitter, when you get into that cycle of fouling off pitch after pitch and trying to protect, you just feel like you have to swing at everything you see. And here, he knows that out on the mound, so he just keeps going farther and farther away from the strike zone until he finally gets a swing and miss. Carl Crawford will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Two out with the man at first. Comes set. Now the pitch. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. Myers is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. It's a run on two hits here for L.A. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine. The Dodgers lead it three to one. Kenley Jansen is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 74, Kenley Jansen. Jed Jerko will get another crack, one for three thus far. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And the pitch. And a bouncing ball, foul. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. This bullpen's picking right up where their starter left off. This has been a real team effort on the mound so far. 
Clint Varmus will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. First pitch coming. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Now here's the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. One and one on the way to Varmus. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Yeah, that finds a zone, but some of these pitches are getting a little too much elevation. That could come back to bite him. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you get a good sense of his value to this ball club watching this. Two hitters, two strikeouts, and now they're an out away from wrapping this thing up. Catcher Derek Norris is in. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. In line for the victory is Clayton Kershaw, should the lead hold. All right, let's go. And now a pitch on the way. And this is swung on and missed, so the Padres find themselves down to their final strike here. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. And he'll squeeze this one for the final out. And the Dodgers have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. It's about what we've come to expect here from Jansen as he comes in here to fire a scoreless ninth and finish off the Dodger victory. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our top player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Dodgers win it 3-1. to one. Good night from San Diego.